First, the reason that the President is coming to the United States is that he accepted the invitation of President Obama to join the Open Government Partnership launch in New York, which is scheduled on September 20. The co-chairs of the steering committee, which consists of eight countries, are President Barack Obama of uh, the United States and President Rousseff of uh, Brazil. Six other countries are part of this steering committee, which includes, of course, the Philippines. So President uh, Aquino is coming to the U.S. to participate in that uh, open government uh, partnership launch. But it also is to underscore his uh, commitment to good governance and uh, anti-corruption and as well as to be able to share uh, the economic developments of the Philippines uh, with other heads of state and of course with the different groups that he will be uh, meeting in uh, the next uh, few days that he will be in New York and Washington. The significance of uh, the Philippines being selected is uh, that um, we're only one of two countries uh, from Asia that were selected to be part of this steering committee. Uh, Indonesia and the Philippines are the two. Uh, the other countries, by the way, aside from US and Brazil, are Norway, UK, South Africa, Mexico, Philippines, Indonesia, US and Brazil. Okay. So the significance is that it just gives uh, the importance uh, that the Philippines has been selected because of uh, President Aquino's commitment to good governance and uh, his uh, determination to fight corruption uh, in order to be able to create uh, more jobs for Filipinos and eventually, of course, reduce poverty. So um, I think the fact that we were selected is, I think, very significant. Um, it, it recognizes the efforts of President Aquino and, of course, his uh, cabinet in uh, promoting uh, accountability, transparency and accountability, uh, and good governance practices. No? There are eight members of the steering committee but there are about 40 other countries that will eventually be part of the OGP. Uh, only the eight will be delivering statements during the OGP launch on September 20. The other heads of state will be also in the room, but they will not be speaking. Uh, it's only the eight members of the steering committee. Now, in the case of the Philippines, uh, the Philippines Action Plan which is, uh, first there's going to be, of course, a declaration by the eight countries that will be read during the launch. Um, and this, this pertains to, to their commitments precisely to, to good governance, uh, transparency and accountability and so on. Now, the action plans, each country will uh, submit an action plan. And our action plan is uh, focused focus on improving public uh, services, uh, increasing uh, public integrity, and uh, more effective use of public resources. Uh, so those are the three main uh, uh, points in that action plan. Focused on four, um, one is transparency. So in terms of transparency, um, the government, of course, is um, committed to um, to fuller disclosure uh, information that would be available to, to, uh, to the public in terms of the projects that are being undertaken by the uh, government. Um, so one is transparency, two is accountability that the uh, government will um, implement uh, the, and strengthen the um, accountability mechanisms uh, that um, have already been um, instituted and will continue to be instituted uh, to ensure that, um, that uh, 
public servants uh, adhere to um, accountability uh, standards, both in the national and local uh, government levels. Um, third, participation, um, getting a deeper citizen engagement, getting members uh, of civil society, members of NGOs uh, more involved in results-oriented uh, budgeting, um, internal audits, uh, and internal controls. No? Um, fourth, using technology and innovation by um, accelerating the or fast-tracking the implementation of a government-wide financial management uh, system uh, and um, getting the citizens and, and uh, civil society to be um, uh, participating in, in, uh, in these uh, innovative approaches that are being uh, undertaken by, by government to, again, promote, uh, as I said, um, uh, greater transparency and accountability. Well, because of the centrality of trade and investment uh, in terms of the um, uh, program of, of government of President Aquino, uh, he will, of course, be meeting with the senior executives uh, from the U.S. ASEAN Business Council, member companies of the U.S. ASEAN Business Council, member companies of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, and, of course, officials of the Philippine-American Chamber of Commerce. But there will also be other speeches at the IBM Centennial Forum, where he's going to give a keynote speech. Um, and um, in the, um, at the Google headquarters, he will also be given a keynote speech on the open government uh, program of the Philippines. So he will be able to share uh, with uh, the business sector as well as uh, with uh, other NGOs and, and, and civil society uh, groups here in the, in the U.S. how the Philippines has done, particularly in terms of the economic uh, achievements that it has, um, that it can um, be very proud of, particularly uh, the fact that uh, we have seen our uh, credit rating upgraded by all four um, uh, credit, major credit uh, rating agencies, Standard & Poor's, Moody's, Fitch Ratings, and Japan Credit Rating Agency. Um, aside from the, um, of course, the upgrade in credit ratings, I think we can see that there's been um, an upsurge in terms of confidence in the Philippine economy because of the very substantial uh, increases in terms of uh, foreign direct investments, uh, particularly in 20, 2000. 11, um, we are seeing um, more uh, interest that has been expressed by businessmen, not only from the U.S., but from Europe, uh, Australia, and even and Asia. So I think the president will have an opportunity to talk, to, to explain to the uh, businessmen uh, what he intends to, in terms of his vision for a Philippines that is open under new management uh, where they can expect a level playing field, where they can expect clearer uh, rules uh, uh, that, that, you know, the business, of course, business uh, firms are, are looking for. So that will be his opportunity to, to um, uh, explain his uh, uh, economic uh, development program to these business people. Well, um, I think you are aware that uh, President Cory Aquino uh, was also conferred an honorary degree by the um, Jesuit-run uh, uh, Fordham University many years ago. And um, uh, as you are also aware, uh, I think our president also uh, obtained a Jesuit education at the Ateneo de Manila University. Um, I think this is a way of honoring, uh, honoring him as well as uh, the memory of his, of his parents who are, uh, of course, 
uh, considered our, our heroes. No? Uh, his father gave his life uh, for, his, for the Filipino people. His mother served and, as president, and she was responsible for restoring democracy. And um, our president is, is committed to uh, ensure that uh, the Filipinos will have a better uh, future. And I think the Fordham University is precisely uh, recognizing what uh, he has uh, done so far and, um, of course, his, his commitment to, to improve the lives of, uh, of the Filipinos. So that, that recognition is being honored by the Jesuit uh, University.